Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Week three. And I think the topic of this week's conversation and this week's vlog is actually going to be relationship. How do you build and foster good relationships that are going to be good for your business, good for your friendship, good for your soul, and just overall makes you a better person? And so last week, you saw me meet with Chris. Uh, this week, you're probably going to see me meet with Nancy and Chris. Now, I want both of them under the 50 Hill umbrella. I want them part of the group because they make a great addition to the team. They bring a new level of energy and they are, you know, in a way, very collaborative. And that's what you're kind of looking for when you're building a relationship, right? Is this person just taking, taking, and taking? Or are they giving and taking and together you guys make leaps, bounds, and really just progress on a level that you could never have done on your own. And so I would say for all the young viewers out there, all the young kids, one of the best advice that I can give you is start networking, start weeding out those who are really here to help you, the people with a big heart, the people that are not just lazy and looking to kind of push all the work on you or just take from you, right? Find those people, build a relationship, and not necessarily try to create something right away. Good relationships take time, right? Some of the best relationships that I have today took five, six, seven years to you know really build up. And so if you're thinking you can just go out there, meet somebody, and your business is gonna blow up the next day, that's not the case. What usually happens is you meet good, hardworking people that may not be you know the big hot shot today, but years later, because they, who are just like you, are working hard, hustling, busting their butts. You know what I mean? Eventually they have a good base, they have a good following, you have a good base, you have a good following, right? You have both have good businesses. And then together, when you guys join forces, you guys have two powerhouse businesses that really go out there and dominate, right? That's what I have to say about relationship. We'll go deeper into that one, but that's my little rant. But right now, we gotta go get gas, cause this big boy, takes a lot of gas. What's up guys? So the footage actually got damaged after we pumped gas, but uh, afterwards, we went to the office to meet with the team and just collaborated. You know what I mean? Like some of those agents that you're going to see in the next photos aren't even on the team officially yet. Um, we don't even know if they're going to really officially join. But what my thing is, let's just meet up. Let's just collaborate. Let's share the knowledge, share the power. And then look, if, if the chemistry is good, it's going to work out itself. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. But it was a really good meeting. You'll see a lot of the B-rolls, so uh, check that out. But that means we gotta write it. Or we can link no, we the link website. It to so the, link, link, the link it to the source. Link it to the source. Perfect. It's a film. It's a film? I like that. Real talk. Hello, real talk. Hello, real talk. Real, real talk. Yeah, real talk is like something they say out there. Yeah, and it would be like TikTok. T O K. I think that's good. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Somebody else. Of course, somebody else is gonna do it. You know what I mean? Like, but. And then, I like that. One section okay. we call facts. Yeah, facts. Real talk, facts. Real talk, yeah. All right, done. 
that body combo is is, is it that the red? Uh, That's for orange. Red, orange. Okay, what did you get the same for, uh, for red? red. Okay. Cool. Hmm. All right. Were you a read on again? I was. <laughs> he follows me wherever I go. <laughs> I need my hero. I want to end up like him. <laughs> See what else we got? Anything else? Oh, tote uh, bags. Did we already order those? They're, they're here. Oh, okay. Are they? Seventy-two inches. Seventy-two inches. Uh, Seventy-two inches is, if my math serves me correct, six feet. Should be enough. Oh, things I gotta buy for my daughter so she can sleep peacefully. Spending all this dinner roll. Where are the blackout curtains? What's up, guys? So in the next clip, you'll actually be seeing um, Nancy and Chris, two people from two different companies that I'm trying to make. Uh, I'm trying to form that team, that 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 superpower, and so that's what we're doing. And I'm bringing everybody together because I know what I lack. I know what they need, right? And so it's about bringing them together and forming a team that is able to inspire growth, right? Collaborativeness, creativity, and uh, that's what the next one is. And I brought everybody together and I said, look, I don't care if we're all part of different companies. Let's meet up. Let's talk. Let's chat. And again, that's what it is. It's, it's building that relationship, building that foundation. If we join up, great. If we don't, then we at least still have the contacts with one another we have a face-to-face -face interaction. That is what relationship is. It's not always about <clears throat> getting what you want or getting what they want. Sometimes you just gotta link up, chat, and you never know what's gonna happen. Maybe two years from now, three years from now, we may form again, we may do something bigger, who knows? But you know, just start collaborating. No ego, no pride, meet together, share, uh, focus on that, your, you know, the abundance mindset. So that's what we did. So check that out. Chris, we gotta chat a little bit more. Yeah. But I, I, yeah. well, well, I mean, I think it's a great. I think so too. But it's like I, I don't know what that even looks like. You know what I mean? So maybe if you have an idea, let's let's hop on a call. Yeah, but uh, call me. I mean, I could, we could talk about. Oh, okay. But uh, you gotta run. You gotta do a showing. Yeah. Hop on another call today. And, uh, Top of the morning, guys. Happy Friday. You already know what time it is. It's 9 a.m. and we're gonna be heading out to our good friend Mondo for a chop chop, snip snip, haircut. Like I said, you gotta stay ready so you never gotta get ready. But that, you know, I wanna tie this back into what we were talking about in earlier in the video, right? Your relationship that you're building, it could be as easy as the barber who cuts your hair. You know what I mean? A lot of people try to think like, oh, I need to have a lot of rich friends. I gotta have a lot of like crazy big, uh, I don't know, like ranking people and all that stuff. No, you don't need that. Your relationship is as simple as your barber, right? If you get your nails done, it's your nail lady. If you get your wax done, it's your wax person, right? Your grocery store person, I don't know. It's just as simple as that. It's about building the relationship, supporting them, and then hopefully one day, you guys have that 20 years relationship, and who knows where they're gonna be. These guys, I mean, my barber today, he's a good barber, he's the best barber, but tomorrow he may own a chain of barber shops. He might be the next Paul Mitchell. And guess what? Now I know the next and new Paul Mitchell. You just don't know. That's the thing. Just foster your relationships. Be loyal to them. You know, I only cut my hair with him. I don't go to 20 different barbers. But that's the thing. And I think even three years from now, two years from now, you, you just never know where we're going to be and what kind of benefits we can bring to the table. And that's how you blow up. You know? 
I hope that tip is helpful. Next up, we're going to show you some B-roll of this. Fire. Peace. What's up guys just wrapped up this week it was a very strong week i just wanted to uh hop on and before i sign out just say that i hope you guys got the message of the video you gotta have just collaborate drop the ego drop the the pride stop trying to be like number one and just really link up with good people provide value share operate from a mindset of abundance not scarcity there's enough business. There's enough of everything out there in the world. You just got to go out there and get it. You don't have to screw anybody over. Um, and again, if you if you just focus and practice that, the people around you will naturally gravitate towards you. You'll be able to build better relationships, better teams, and just accomplish a whole lot more. And it may not happen right away. It may take a year, it may take a you know two years, three years, four years, but life is long, guys. Like don't burn bridges, don't don't try to cut make shortcuts. Do it right. And uh, you know, years from now you'll look back and be like, damn, like how did I get here? Well, you got there because you wanted, you know, you, you, you provided value and you built the, all those good relationships. So hope you guys like the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow my TikToks. Follow my Instagram. Peace.